We all know and love the Pokemon anime songs. Some of them have been stuck in our head for years on years. And Pokemon as an anime is unique because it's so heavily marketed to Western audiences that every single season not only has a Japanese opening, but an English opening as well. And I'd like to rank those on a tier list, S to F, on a variety of qualities. Number one, just how good the song sounds. This is obviously subjective, so don't worry about that. And number two, how well it's portraying the season that it's for. Some seasons are a lot more serious than others, some of them are basically slice of life, and I want that to be portrayed in the opening theme. I will also bring into account the visuals of them, because some visuals are way better than other. I won't bring it in a lot, only if it's particularly good or particularly bad. And that does happen sometimes. I'm also going to try and not bring in the movie versions of songs because some songs don't have a movie version, and movie versions are generally longer and better because they were produced for a movie. I'm gonna try and not bring them in as long as I can. I'm also not going to be comparing them to the Japanese songs because that's just a whole other market, and maybe I can make another video for those at some time, but not today. We're worried about the English songs. We're gonna go in chronological order starting from the beginning of the seasons. Also, I know that I'm just dropping a nuclear bomb of copyright on myself, and you know what? I don't care. We have the original. You have to put a little bit of respect on its name. I think it's amazing that it's a little bit of a rock opera kind of deal. Very 90s, and you can tell. I'm going to have to put this in A. There's not really anything wrong with it. The visuals match up with the song nicely. And I think the worst thing that it does is it's a little misrepresentative of the actual anime because, I mean, the early Pokemon anime, I don't know if you've watched it recently, it almost comes off as a parody of shonen anime. So the very serious nature of the actual song is a little weird, but obviously we all still love it. So you wanna be a master of Pokemon? And then we have Pokemon World, the opening for the Orange Islands arc, and also the Indigo League arc. I, that's not discussed a lot. The Indigo League takes place in the Orange Islands season, technically, and it's a little bit weird. This is an absolute banger. It actually gives me a better sense of the anime than the original song does, because it's a little bit more... It's a bit more playful. It has a great focus on just the theme of Pokemon, and I think it's one of the best themes that the anime's ever done. This one's going to go into S tier. Trust me, they're not all going to be this good. It's a Now we're getting into the Johto songs. I love the Johto songs. This is actually going to start the theme of the songs starting playful at the beginning of a region and getting more serious and more about becoming a master, beating everyone in your way at the end of the season. And I think Johto is a great representative of that. Super playful theme for the beginning of the region. Ash is starting all over with brand new Pokemon, a good feeling of exploring a brand new world of Pokemon. I love it. It's another A. Let's do it. The second song for Johto has a lot of interesting things about it. Number one, it's fully custom animated. And I don't just mean it doesn't pull any scenes from the anime, it's all custom scenes that you won't see in the anime. It's also scenes that aren't shown in the Japanese opening as well. And this is the first and only time that that happens, so that's pretty impressive. It's also the first of two times that they remix the original theme, and it's pretty good. Uh, the guitar sounds a little farty at the beginning. I do think it is the weakest of all the Johto openings, but it's still decent. I'm gonna throw it into B. Master Quest. It's so good! This is actually one time that I'm going to bring in the movie songs. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's so good in Pokemon Heroes. It's so good. I can imagine this being played in a wave race. And also, it's a great representation of the Johto League, which happens in this arc. Absolutely phenomenal. Great song overall. That's going in S, baby. I promise it won't stay this top heavy. A kid from this one's a little odd. It's the very beginning of our region and it's talking about gotta be a hero, I'd save the world. Boy, you're walking around from tiny town to tiny town catching like bugs. So I don't know if this properly represents the beginning of the Hoenn anime. I'd argue that it doesn't. It's a decent song though. I think this will be another one that goes into B. Now this is more on it. Good song about following our dream. I also think this has a bit more of a serious tone than some of the others, and it's also when the anime, in my opinion, starts taking battles a bit more seriously. Uh, previously, you know, 
there would be moments where, oh, this Pikachu could shock a ground type because it was wet. If weird things like that, this is where they kind of start getting like a bit more artful with the fighting. And I think this anime properly represents that. So this is going to be a solid A again. Thinking about my rankings, I feel like I'm a little biased towards the beginning of the Pokemon series, but hey, this is another great one. Also, a little fun fact, every single legendary in the Pokemon series up to this point is showcased in this opening, except for Lugia. Poor, poor Lugia. Great theme. I think you, you hear it. It's pretty good. You can tell. This is going into A. A little fun fact for this one, this is actually the point where 4Kids stopped making the openings. Well, I don't know if it was a director position or producing or if they actually had in-house production of it, but it actually swapped to the Pokemon company directing the music from now on. So that's a fun little fact, and you probably wouldn't have known unless I told you. Just a fun fact. Anyway, good song, A. Hey, that's a, that's a lot of songs in the A tier. Uh, are they ever going to have a bad song? It's all about the challenges. <laughs> Okay, this is a lot better than the last one. I don't know what they were on in Sinnoh. It still isn't great though. So you know how sometimes there's those voices that you can listen to and you imagine yourself making that voice and it gives you physical pain in your throat? This is one of those moments. This is going into C. Oh, God save me, I need something good. Why? Why is this so good? <laughs> it's so good! I, I don't think I need to say that it properly represents the anime. It's very uplifting about doing your best. I think that's where the Pokemon anime shines the most. I think this is the best opening in the entire anime. That's an S tier. Easy! Now this one's an interesting one. I think it properly represents the feeling of the battles are getting serious at this point. If you haven't seen the Sinnoh League battles, please watch them, they're so good. It also properly hints at Ash and Paul's battle, which is one of the best battles in the entire anime. I just don't like the slow ballady nature of it. It's like a rock ballad. I personally prefer more upbeat songs. I know a lot of people like this one, so I think I'm going to be disappointing a few people here. This one's gonna go down into B. It's always hard when the journey begins. Oh boy. Pokemon's Christian rock phase. So I have a lot of gripes with this opening. First of all, with the animation, it's all 3D and it looks weird. I don't think I'm the only one who thinks that. Not only that, this opening leaked to generation five Pokemon essentially. The series started five days after Black and White released and obviously a, there were definitely people that hadn't gotten a chance to play it yet and they were looking forward to it and they hadn't announced a lot of new Pokemon because the generation was almost entirely new Pokemon. And in the English opening, they're all just there. In the Japanese one, they were actually blacked out until they actually appeared in the anime, not in the English one. Also, well, I think the song is horrendous. Uh, it's a nice little bop about morals, sure, but it's not good. God, I can just imagine myself sitting in the pews of the youth group. Ugh. I guess they were going for a completely different feeling with these songs because it was essentially a new start for Pokemon. There were zero returning Pokemon in the main story of the new games and they kind of wanted to represent that with a new style of music, I suppose. But boy, I don't like it. Again, this is very objective. I just don't think this fits at all. It's the next chapter, the ultimate goal. Okay, this one's a bit better. Also, it's kind of cool because it does have three different versions of the opening, depending on where it is in the season. So that's neat. Still not a fan of the style, but it's a little bit better. I'm gonna put it in C. I wanna be the very best. 
the second time they remix the opening theme of season one. And I love it so much. A lot of people hate this one. I have no idea why. It's a really upbeat rock remix of it. The vocals are just so good. There's some nice harmonies in there. And I don't know if you've seen, oh, I believe it's the 17th movie at this point. It has a much longer version of this song with a lot of instrumentals, a lot of solos. It's so good. This is another one that I think deserves S. Okay, well, first of all, the future of the world is not in your hands at this point yet, at least. It's a little weird. I love the animation. Seeing Pikachu against Omega Gardevoir is really cool to watch. It seems a little edgy for this point in the series. I'm gonna give this a generous B. Now, normally, I would give this song a little bit of crap for being a bit too serious and edgy but I don't know if you've seen the XYZ season. Ash gets crucified, so I think this is kind of appropriate for the season. In addition to that, I think it has the best animation of the entire series up to this point, so I'm going to actually slap this into A. It's Ska! Everyone hates this one. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because of such an abrupt change in tone from XYZ to Sun and Moon, but I think it perfectly fits the anime at this point because it's a lot more slice of life, a lot more upbeat, it's less about serious evil going on, and more just about having a good time with your Pokemon, with your friends, and I love it. And it's Ska! I'm so sorry. It's S. <laughs> Remember when I said this was a much more upbeat and happy season? This doesn't get that across at all to me. It is still a bit tropical, so it at least gets the vibe of the tropical nature of it down a bit, but it just doesn't represent the season at all. It's not that serious, except for maybe two or three episodes. It's like ultra space stuff, so eh? Another real weird one, at least it is upbeat and happy unlike the previous one. Although I think it could have actually gone to be a bit more serious because this is one of the most action-packed seasons of the entire anime. There's some great battles in this one. And I know I didn't want to talk about the Japanese openings, but I think that Sun and Moon had, hands down, the best openings throughout the entire Sun and Moon series. The first theme for Sun and Moon was so good. And Future Connection? Hey, hey, stop this video right now and listen to Future Connection. It's so good. And having primarily watched the Sun and Moon anime as it came out in Japanese, and I heard the Japanese openings, I forgot kind of how not good the English openings were, and it's a bit of a shame. That's all I'll talk about for Japanese openings. Uh, this one's a C, I think. The journey starts today. Another complete shift in the feel for the anime songs, but I love it. I think it perfectly encapsulates exploring around the world, journey starts today, all that. I love it, I love it, I love it. And it's actually probably the closest that the English song has been to the Japanese song as well, so both really good. I'm gonna put it in S. And that'll do it. I know I have a lot of opinions here that line up with the community, and I know I have a lot, particularly maybe because of my love of Ska, that don't line up with the community, but it's all objective. You're allowed to like any song you want. I feel like I should mention that if you watch to the end. You deserve to get that little mention there. If you want me to do a review of all the Japanese songs, uh, the Sun and Moon ones will all be S tier. I'll let you know right now. It was really fun looking back at all of the anime themes, and I actually watched quite a bit of the anime as a little bit of research for this as well. And also, shoutouts to all my Patreon supporters who got this video a few days early, as they will for every large video project that I do similar to this one. Thank you all for watching, and see you in the next one.